All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be very blunt, very upfront, and I'm going to be talking about something that is probably uh, not talked about as much as it should be here on YouTube. And if you've listened to my podcast in the past, I have touched on this, but today I wanted to create just a, a more clear video uh, based around social media, how to use it. All right. And here's the thing. A lot of coaches out there, when they think about starting a business or taking their business to the next level, they think, oh, I need to have more followers. I need to have more subscribers. I need to have more likes. I need more people to know who I am. Now, having a big following can be great. All right. That absolutely can be fantastic. But how to monetize that is a completely different ballgame. All right. It's like watching the, the skinny freshmen in high school, all right, who don't have a clue about what they're doing versus the varsity team who has all the experience, right? They have all the girlfriends, <laughs> right? So there's a big difference between having a big following and then how to monetize it. All right, the monetization piece is that's that's where the varsity team is at. They know what they're doing, and here's the thing. I've gotten a lot of messages. All right, I can't show you this just for privacy, uh, but I've gotten a lot of messages from people who have uh, between I'd say fifty thousand to five hundred thousand followers on Instagram, uh, Facebook, um, even email lists. And a lot of these coaches don't know how to monetize. They have built this online presence, an online brand. Now, building an online brand, building an online presence uh, is not bad. But again, we don't want to be one of these skinny freshmen. We want to be on the varsity team here. Varsity team, all right, ends up turning those leads into sales. All right. All the freshman guys, they want to be popular. Right? They want to get likes. They want people to know who they are. Not in, we're, we're not in business to be, uh, have a bunch of fans. We're in business to help people and close deals. Right? That's how business works. So with that being said, right, we need to remove the thought of everybody knowing who we are. Everybody liking us. We need to remove that thought. Because that is not the thing that's going to create profitable business. And I've also received messages. They're like, well, Ben, you don't even have an Instagram uh, page for your soccer business. And that's true. I don't need one. I've never needed one. Uh, my business has trained over 6,500 kids over the past 12 years. Zero Instagram. All right. Well, how do we do that? Well, I had to learn how to talk to people. I had to learn how to sell. I had to learn how to do it without social media. All right. And now a lot of younger Coaches are wanting to rely on something and just use something because everyone else is using it. All right. It's another reason why my soccer training business isn't on Instagram. Right. I don't need to be on there to close clients. All right. But here is the keys. Okay. This is the keys to succeeding with social media. Number one, you need to be where parents are. All right. Let me say it again. You need to be where parents are. It does not matter if you have a thousand kids per day that are messaging you, right? Kids don't have credit cards, right? Even rich kids don't have credit cards, right? You need to be where the parents are. Parents are making the decisions. Parents are buying, right? If a kid sees your thing and then they go tell their parents, well, guess what? Now you have to rely on the kid to sell to their parents. Most kids suck at sales, right? Most kids don't know how to sell something to their parents. They don't know how to persuade the parents, all right? Most kids are not going to get their way. So instead of marketing to the kids, let's market straight to the parents, all right? Where are the parents? Well, this is up to you to figure out. Are they on Instagram? I don't know. Like, go look at your follower list and go through it today and be like, oh, okay, well, I have 90% uh, kids and 10% parents, okay? All you have to do is click on your followers and go look at that. Same thing with your email list. Go look at it. All right. Same thing if you have a YouTube channel 
or if you have a Facebook, like a, a like a page that people like on there, who is watching what you do and who do you need to market to, right? Because right now you could be marketing towards kids and you're wondering why it's not working. Well, it's not working because you're marketing to people who don't have the means to pay you. They don't have the means to make uh, decisions to pay you, right? So we, again, now we need to look at it and be like, all right, we're not marketing to kids and we're marketing to parents. So where are these parents, all right? I've found a lot of success in the past using Facebook. I found a lot of success using emails. Like right now, all right, just to, just to show you, I have three different email lists, one for my local training business, one for my online soccer company, and one for uh, coaches that are coming in from this channel, all right? Three different lists. I hit those lists at least three times a week each with different offers. But guess what? I'm marketing towards the person who can make the buying decision. This is why email, in my opinion, is king. And when you collect data, now you have a way of reaching them via email as much as you want. If you're reaching a bunch of kids as much as you want per day, and it's not getting you anywhere, guess what you need to change? You need to change, right? And don't get caught up with the people on Instagram who have these huge followings. A lot of those dudes are broke as a joke. I know it, like, and, and I don't care saying that because I've talked to a lot of them. There's a lot of people that you probably have seen yourself, you're like, wow, they have so many followers. The only way they're making money is through like branded deals. They're not making money through their clients. They don't have clients. They don't know how to get clients. That's why a lot of them have come to me and asked me, right? So here's the thing. First, let's remove the thought of you need to be huge on social media. It's not true. Some of my most successful coaches I'm helping right now, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even know who they are. They, they don't even leave a footprint online. Like zero. What they focus on is their email list, right? So don't need to be big on social media. That's number one. The second thing is we don't need to be selling to kids anymore, all right? Let's stop doing that. We need to be in front of parents. So where are the parents? And how can we get the parents onto an email list? How can we get the person who's making the buying decision on your email list so you can talk to them directly there? They are consuming something that you are talking about, right? Now, if you have any questions about that, you're like, all right, this makes sense. Right? My strategy has not been working in the past and I need to pivot. If you have any questions, text me. Right? If you live in America, text me. If you don't live in America, shoot me an email. Okay? Because if you text me and you don't live in the U.S., it's not going to get through to me. Um, but if you live in the U.S., text me. It's 210-960-5771. And if you're tired of struggling with social media, reach out to me. Right? I can help you with that. We have helped a lot of coaches who have repositioned what they do on, on social media and they're making a lot of sales now because they're getting in front of the right person. They're not caring if, if they have 100,000 people who, who like their page. They want to help clients and they want to get clients. That's it. All right. Any questions for me, all right, text me. I'm going to be here. I'm available. Me and a cowboy, <laughs> all right, we're going to roll with you. We're going to help you out, all right? That's it. I'll see you later.